VPN that's embedded on the system that BitLocker was enabled on. Excellent. So let's talk a little bit about, I mean, this is, this is really exciting. It's the fifth book you guys have written, right? I mean, I've been involved with it to some degree. Let's, take, let's talk a little bit about the history, because uh, I think that's interesting. So Inside Windows NT first edition was actually the first book published about the Windows NT operating system. Mm -hmm. It was written by Helen Custer. She was part of the original development team, worked for Dave Cutler. Mm -hmm. The book came out in October 92. I remember the, when I got my hands on it, I mean, I just read it from cover to cover. And uh, at that time, I was starting to work on building a, a Windows and Turtles class. Helen retired from Microsoft, and I was privileged to be asked to, to take over uh, the book and to work on the second edition, which was the NT4 update. Meanwhile, Mark yeah, is I working was on the competing book called Windows and Turtles. Yeah. And actually, uh, you can still go do internet searches and find it. It was going to be with IDG. Still hasn't come out. The still hasn't come out yet. Nice. So, although I was, uh, so I worked on the second edition. Mm -hmm. And uh, much to Mark's surprise, it came out, <laughs> and uh, I think that I, was. I, can't, I, I remember going to the store and getting it, and I was so jealous. <laughs> so I was like, "Wow, it's way better than I hoped it would be." It, he'd, had, he'd added experiments, something that Helen hadn't had, so it was really more of a hands-on, actually see the way the system works, not just nice. read the theory of it, which was, uh, I think, really. A cool addition. And it's something you obviously spent a lot of time on with system internals. I mean, that's how you really learn. Yeah, in fact, you used some of the tools. Yeah, the system internals tools were referenced. But Mark and I had a pretty distant relationship. I mean, ah. he was sort of enemy number one of the Microsoft kernel team. So then I get this email from him saying, hey, Dave, how about we collaborate on the third edition, which was the Windows 2000 update? Nice. And we had started to have, you know, some, some friendly chats, and uh, he was kind of changing his stance and, and being uh, more uh, cooperative with Microsoft. So I went to the Windows kernel team, key folks at the time, and I said, you know, I, I really would like to bring Mark Rosinovich in to work on the third edition. And they were like, Mark Rosinovich, back, back, back. Why? Why? And I, because it he caused some problems. Yeah. yeah. That's good, though. Yeah. Now look at you. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's amazing. I love this So industry. that was a great step for Microsoft to allow you to work on the yeah. third But they told me if Mark screwed up, it was my head. So we had a great time working on the third well, actually, edition. Actually, and then coincidentally, I ended up moving to, this, to a town 20 minutes from you in the middle of con nowhere in Connecticut. Nice. So we would work on the book at each yeah. other's house. Beautiful. Uh, each, each day I would arrive yeah, later, 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 later. Yeah, and we talked about him shifting time zones going further west. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess one, one question that I have to ask before we end, I know you guys are very busy. You're teaching a class. Yeah, I've got to start in a few minutes here. And Mark, of course, has lots of things to do. Um, what is it about Windows as a general purpose operating system that you were so interested in? I mean, NT was very interesting, but just quickly. I love quickly, the Windows you... kernel. It's, I've, I've spent 15 years now. Well, actually, you came from VMS, so you actually and worked at Digital on VMS. Working on the VMS kernel, coming to NT was like being home again. Sure. Um, so many similarities. But uh, I thought, if you asked me in 1992, would I still be loving telling people about how the Windows kernel works? I would. I would say I, I can't imagine I'd still be doing that. I'm still doing it. Amazing. I love talking about it. The evolution of the kernel continues to keep me interested. A lot of cool stuff uh, coming in, in Windows 7 mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's, uh, it's, there's just nothing better. Right on. Mark? And for me, well, I had a Unix background actually coming into school. I did my uh, PhD thesis on Unix, on, on actually mock, BSD on top of mock, which is actually what the iPhone and Mac OS is built on. Nice. At Carnegie Mellon, which is where that OS is, uh, came from, under Rick Rashid, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Well, Rick say. says he invented it. I mean, it is, you can argue about that, but yeah. that's, that's... So anyway, I had this Unix background, but then uh, I'd started to get into PC technology and Windows 3.0 and 3.1 were out and then Windows NT 3.1 was coming out mm. matching the version number and actually having the same look and feel and being able to run the same apps and but still being a, a, a real full secure scalable OS like Unix and I just saw the writing on the wall that this thing was gonna end up eating its way uh, first of all into the uh, in a workstation market mm -hmm. in uh, companies where people get familiar with the the way the system works and the looks and feels and have apps uh, ecosystem that builds up around it and they're going to want to take that stuff into work and so that's what I thought was going to be the future and it turns out that it pretty much the has weirdest been. thing for me though is that now I have to get my information from Mark at Microsoft <laughs> it used to be the I used to have to escort him around the building I had the card key two years ago when I came my card key had expired as a vendor. He had to let me in the door. Very rewarding. Amazing. Very rewarding. Well, and I think Strange. the other really good thing is that Mark is in a position as a technical fellow of the Windows kernel to make substantial changes, right? To actually really innovate beyond from the outside. I mean, 
Yeah, one influence. can influence. Yeah. Influence is a better idea. Technical fellow is not no authority. Yeah. I call him a felon. Felon? Yeah, felon. Felon. Not felon. A felon. A technical felon. That's a little too familiar. <laughs> he used to be a technical felon back in the day, yeah. right? Yeah, now that's he's true. a felon. That's a good one, yeah. Beautiful. Hey, hey I wish we had here. more time. I have a lot more questions to ask. Thanks Maybe we'll see you guys again soon. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, thank you. All right, Charles. Take All right, care. Charles.